and I will just test my camera, get it in place. Could have done this before now, of course. If I was at all organised. You might want to mute us all as well, Tony. Yes, I'm going to do that now. Right, so there are 30 of us now, so welcome to all the latecomers and uh, we'll make a start. Not late, just... <laughs> right, mute all. Okay. And we're good to go. So, um... Right, so the lane is pretty central, the, the, the part where the lane leaves the picture. And it's got these lovely curves coming out of it. And um, I'll just put those in fairly vaguely because there's a lot of leaves getting in the way. And relative to that, this uh, this building starts about there, and it's got a bit of a lean to it. So you'd see very little of that gable. The, the eaves start slightly above where the lane disappears. And as I said, I'm, I'm taking that right off to the side there. A bit of a sag to the um, ridge of the roof. So that's the gable in full. Gives that bit of a wall, just a hint of a, a gateway sloping. Now there's a brick wall, it starts off about here. And it's got a very slight curve as it comes towards us. And the bottom of the wall is aligned with the bottom of the gable. And that comes hidden by leaves. Now, behind the building, there's a large tree which shoots off upwards. Wish we could see more of it. It does look a nice tree, interesting tree. Partially hidden by foliage. Now here we've got a dense tall hedge starting. And then the sweep of the trees to the right starts here. There's a grassy bank, which is more or less horizontal. And that 
indicates to us that's at our eye level. Lots of little small trees on the top of that bank don't really need to put any detail in there. Just, uh, just a couple of marks to get position right. And this, there's a hundred little trees or more all sprouting through the fallen leaves. Now what I've drawn here is actually the, the path created through the leaves, the actual road I'm sure is a, a bit wider than it's there. Okay, that, that looks nice, I like that. I'm glad this this roof is a bit bigger, so it'll give us a bit of a workout for all those roof tiles and how to simplify them a little bit. So shadows will figure greatly in this picture. Here's a, a satisfying shadow under this overhang. I won't draw it. Don't really need to. So the garden comes up to a level about here. So I haven't drawn these objects here or the chimney. I'm guessing in this region here is just more trees with the sky behind. These lines on the on the road will be nice to do. Okay. So there's a 35 now, so there's a few people have come in later. Lindsay and Abba, Linda, Janice, Rena, Rosemary. Hello, Rena. I'm, I, you're muted, Rena. I can't hear you. And I, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Are you well? Okay. I'm fine, thank you. Have you managed to catch up? Are you? Have you drawn this now? Um, I've drawn it. Yes, I've drawn okay. it. I, I did I did a bit just before we started actually. Okay, I'll 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 mute you, uh, Rena, so we're not all looking at you. <laughs> I see. Well, I hope you aren't. <laughs> oh, we, we are when you speak. Unfortunately, <laughs> there we go. There's no no hiding place here. Yes, I'm quite looking forward to this one. It's nice to have a you know, colourful landscape now and again.
Okay. Um, colours. So the, the sky is not very evident, so extremely pale bluey grey will do. So I'll just do a... I'll just do a... Just a local wash. Maybe a little bit here as well, where we can see the, the, the sky coming through. That gives us a chance of some some not strong colours, but honest colours that are not altered by the sky in the back behind them. And then the, the, the trees, generally the leaves are, let's say, um, pale. I'm just thinking out loud here. A blue and, blue and yellow thin mix, I think. The, Tiny bit of sepia in here and there. I fancy a, a, a wet in wet exercise and start off quite pale and muted in the background, strengthening it slightly as it comes towards us. Leave a few, few gaps at the lower part so the paper shines through. And to the left, we'll be very inventive with a few loose brush strokes of green and brown. All muted because later when we put the, the trees, the tree trunks in, that's where the, the missing contrast will help us make out what we've just painted. So, another minute, we're off painting. Okay, that's the world's quickest minute. So, uh, a bit of sky in the background. A bit to the right. And a bit to the left. Done. Wanted it to be dry, so I stabbed it a little bit. Now, to start off the colour for the trees, all I've done is put a little bit of uh, cadmium yellow into that sky mix. Looks about right. Added a little bit of blue. A 
the sepia. And already I'm thinking of just a hint of sky showing through here and there. Paper's curling up. Similar treatment to the left, but very in and out with my brush. So this is a uh, brownie green. Just a few spots of yellow added. Paint over the over the trees that you've drawn. And a bit of raw sienna. Maybe it's a bit of cadmium red here and there. Just with the side of my brush trying to preserve a little bit of sky showing through no need to fuss too much we'll come back later with other colors but they will be darker just happy to put a little bit of red or burnt uh, Burnt umber here and there. Here's a bit of blue. A lot of the leaves will be in their own shadow, so they're a little bit darker. And some hooker's green for occasional bit of bright green. Not too much of that though. Right, now there's quite a dark shadow inside the tree cover here. A bit afraid to get your fingers dirty. Now, when you paint the, the bank to the left, uh, to the right, sorry, um, angle your brush so that it's illustrating the, or describing the shape of the, of the bank. We will be putting some shadows in later, but it's good to make an early start like this.
So at the top of the bank, through the trees, is an area of mystery. So I'm just, just leaving that for now. Quite a lot of bright brown colours here. Let's get these paler colours in first down here. We'll be coming back, working round it with darker colours. This is um, cadmium orange. Let's get these bright patches in now. Seems a bit crazy, but it will come clear later. So a lot of these fallen leaves quite golden and they're in full sun they're going to be bright This is a, a very much darker green with sepia added and I'm just populating this bank with these shadowy areas. We'll come back over the whole thing with the shadows later but Here, yeah, these are just small local shadows. What colour are you doing that with, Tony? Sorry. Yeah, this is the green and uh, and sepia added. Thank you. Paint. And I'm just put a bit of Hooker's green on top of that because it's not just simply green in the foreground here in fact it almost looks like viridian in the bottom right but i won't be using that because it is evil viridian. evil personified
So patchy green and brown, but getting paler as it goes into the distance there. where this light is coming through from the right. Extremely pale green. It gives it that luminous look. Doesn't look much now, but as we build up the contrast later, that will be quite, quite striking, I think. Okay. Just a few more pale colors. the road right now I'm thinking of the roof now it's a lovely bluey grey with a few warm colours here and there it looks like each individual tile is a slightly different colour. So we're not doing that, of course. We know how to simplify. Just clear all this green away. Um, right. Ultramarine. Depends grey. See how that looks first of all. Just take it right through. So this is the very palest of those roof tiles. I'll let that dry. Underneath the, the grey is a uh, Burnt Sienna. So just get your tissue and just remove some of that here and there. Coming back again with same colour, just creating some structure there. More dark colours will come later. Now this this. Um, wall, the brick wall with the arched top is almost the same colour. A 
a tiny bit of green thrown in. Let's see how that looks. That looks fine. Now, we've got some dappled sunlight. There we go. One dapple, two dapples. This gable is it's in the strong sun, so it's a very pale Naples yellow for that. Again, let's take some out. That looks like a window there. And more dappled sunlight. Likewise, this little wall. Don't forget, these are the very palest of the colours that comprises these elements. And it looks very wishy-washy and weird. Taking this brick wall down a little bit. So Victoria was right, That's, uh, that stone chimney is rather splendid, shame to ignore it, but I think on the, on the grand scheme of it, we won't miss it. So the, the roof was dry now. Let's try some rows of tiles which are slightly darker. Colour changes a little bit. Let's keep it as patches of colour. Don't think in terms of individual items like tiles or moss. Just patches of colour. Look at green. Just here and there.
So there's not much of that original pale colour left, so it doesn't matter, it served its purpose. Okay, um, I was thinking of bringing some shadows in, but I'll be jumping the gun a little bit there. There's a few patches of quite noticeably red tinge here and there. Let's dump it down a little bit. So the bottom row of roof tiles is almost entirely covered with lichen, green, from end to end. Put a lichen down here on the wall also. And while I've got green on my brush, just a little bit of garden. It's quite quite bright green, so hookers is ideal for that. Just pull in some interest with a clean, damp brush. Off the top a bit. Now this patch of green here is in full sun, so watered down hookers is ideal. So we've got just, I suppose it's just grass growing through the, uh, the dead leaves. Reasserting itself. This is that d dark green, tall bush, just on the bend. It's the darkest colour we've used so far.
it, it suffuses into a slightly watered down version. I just added some water there. I'm just stroking in a bit of cadmium lemon, which over the top of the green there is just about the right colour for that. Now, cadmium yellow is, a, is quite a dense colour, so it, it, it covers. Not as good as Naples yellow, but it will recede a little bit as it dries, but it will still be there. So these rising sweeps of, of shaping up the bank, it flattens out at the top here. Something else out of the freezer. What? What? Two pork steaks. <laughs> oh, God. Did you find a steak, an ale pie? No, no I didn't. What's going on? A lot of things that I can't recognise. Pardon? There's a lot of things in there that I cannot recognise. But it's, it's untouched. Oh, I don't know. You want to mute, Dorothy? I'm, I'm doing it. <laughs> Sorry, Dorothy. Enough of your steak and ale pie. I don't know how that happens. Am I in control or what? Clearly not. Um, okay. So I've been fussy with this this banking here. Uh, that's all right. I'm not going to be so fussy with the. Uh, with the trees. I'm quite happy with those being rather vague shapes of suffused colour. Looks okay to me. When we put the branches and the, the trunks in, I think things will be more clear. What's going on there? So what, what I've done so far, I regard as um, much of an undercoat. So I think we'll start and work our way down from top to bottom with detail. And most of that are um, tree trunks and branches. So let's see what happens here. Let's see how quickly I can ruin it. Right, um, this is sepia and Payne's grey. It's very dark. So a bit of negative painting as we come down this like tree trunk because there are a lot of leaves in front. I want to keep them. So 
So coming down, I'm just leaving little windows in the paint, which is green. So those are the leaves. Sorry, Tony, what uh, colour are you using for the trunks? Oh, um, really dark val, uh, sepia and Payne's grey. Thank you. Now this, my brush here, Cat money is the very finest of twigs. But I'll see if I can get by. I may need to come back over with a smaller brush. I'd rather not. So to simulate the leaf cover, these twigs are sort of coming in and out if you, if you draw them in full then they're in front of the leaves which they clearly aren't Don't need to do an awful lot of this. Get the message over fairly quickly. So, is that enough? Probably not quite, but it's getting there. I'm happy to leave that and come back to it. Here's another large tree trunk. I'm not f following the uh, photograph at all. This is just what seems right to me.
So this tree trunk is more visible and really asserts itself onto the picture. Try and keep these, um, the width of these in proportion. They're roughly similar in size. Little bit of detail on this um, wall. Right now on the right hand side of the road. I'll start with the very thin tree trunks zooming up and disappearing into the leaves above. Need a slightly finer brush for this. None of these trees grow from the, uh, the roadside, they're all 
on top of this banking. So if you're drawing a, a, a branch, you've got to stop and start your brush as it fights its way through the leaves. If you paint it in full, it won't look right because it'll be just stuck on top. And then you get more dense as they Join the rest of the tree. That's correct. It's quite a dark area, this. But we can't do it all. We're just doing a hint here. Hi Tony. Hello. Hi there. Really enjoying it. I've got to dash off now, so I'll catch up with the recording. So really enjoying it though. Okay. All right, Fiona. Yeah, so see you soon. Yes, okay. indeed. Bye bye. Bye. Bye now. Bye.
So the heart of this little row of trees is really quite dark. And it's not just tree trunks, it's foliage, it's so dense, it forms its own shadow. Sticking a bit out there. Just need a break in this shaded area. Okay. That's okay for now. Now, the road is not blue, but I want it to be. The colour. Right, it gets quite dark here, but I'll come back over it again, just an undercoat. It looks like a river. Right, Rosiana and and um, Pen's Grey. For this central feature coming towards us, just old wet leaves. I should imagine all squashed down. It's quite a clearly defined bridge here. Not a ridge, it's a border. So the same colour can move in to this leafy territory and fill it full of misery. Dark, 
damp, smelly. Ooh. Goes off into the distance, sort of peters out a little bit. So, I'm just trying to paint around these. Um, leaves that are in the sun, a bit more light, just like that. So the steep part of this banking is fairly green. I'm guessing the leaves sort of tumbled past it. So the lines like this give us a sense of order. Some strikingly green leaves here. Just popping those in. So you don't want too many white gaps here then. But I don't want to lose any pale leaves, so be careful. Now I mentioned the part of the road which gets quite dark. So I'm going to start off with clean water. The darkness flooding. Leave a couple of couple of gaps here and there for the leaves. Dry brush. Dark.
on that, leaving the all the brickwork to last. I hadn't realised that. It's all carried away here. Doesn't matter. These aren't shadows, these are, it's just debris. It's been flattened onto the road. Okay. This is almost satisfying. Shadows. I love them. So create a, a wetting wet sensation here. To all run down. Right, these tiles are not concentrating on anything in particular. I'm not suggesting there are so many tiles, they're just each one has created its own shadow. So I'll just highlight about 10% of them. And all the while trying to keep this sweep to the roof as it sagged in the middle.
think this shadow even deeper. Just, just before it completely dries, I'm going back over it. Right up underneath the eaves there. Lovely. I just spotted it. I think this dark line here is the tree. Lovely. Happy with that. And more shadows and set into the wall. Right, this brick wall is like artist palette of colour. And treat that with judicious blotches. Yes. Suggest shaping to these half round bricks, different colours. The cement is pale, so we can suggest suggest that just by leaving it. So getting away with as few brush strokes as possible is the essence of watercolour, I think. I don't know if I've achieved that or not. Look at these double shadows of this gable here. All very elongated and distorted. Likewise here. This grass, grassy lawn wants taking down a pig or two.
This brickwork is quite dark red in places. And a little bit green in places. Darkening this lawn down to make the wall stand out. I call it a lawn, it's hardly that, but I just run out of vocabulary sometimes. You probably noticed. Right, um, it's taken a while this, half past six nearly. Going over this area, I don't much white showing through. So covering it with Naples yellow, that will dry paler. Sorry, Tony, what are you doing in Naples yellow now? Well, where I had a lot of little white windows all over this ground cover, it didn't look right. Right, so thank you. Just turning it down with Naples yellow. It seemed the right sort of colour. Um, I could do the same here. So I'm just using raw sienna to do that job on this side. Because I know that where it goes over another colour, it mercifully just disappears. So generally you can paint over large areas without it disturbing the other colours. As long as you don't brush it around too much. too much sky showing through. Right now bit of a, a dilemma. I want to put shadows sweeping across. I need this to be dry before I do that. Because there's a lot of pale, uh, damp areas. Any brush strokes across will just pick it all, sweep it all away. Uh, 
I think the best thing I can do is to leave this now. Come back to it in a couple of hours and put the shadows in. Now you, you may decide not to do the same. That's up to you. If you're happy with it, leave it. I'm happy with this, but I did say that the shadows are an important thing. And these aren't shadows, they are just visual effects on the, uh, on the tarmac there. Could you dry it with a hairdryer and then do it? That's a good idea. Right, let's do it. Hairdryer. Switch on. I'll just move myself while I do this. Come back, Tony, you're muted. He's got, he's got the hairdryer on. Yes. Sorry. What was that? <laughs> right, I think. I think that's just about done. to crisp but never mind it's still not thoroughly dry okay let's test the theory um, So a bluey colour, a little bit of brown in there. So didn't mix enough. And they go right across and up the wall.
Now after that, you might decide not to do yours. So I certainly subdued the colours down a bit. That's probably not a bad thing. That little bit on the rooftop here. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I quite like that. It could do with a little bit of more twig work up there, but um, I might decide to do that. And again, I might not. Good idea, taking some off there. It looks okay. I think the shadows are fantastic. Yeah, I was happy with that. It's it absolutely makes it. It does. And it's a it's a nervous and bold thing to do. Sometimes you've just got to It's you've got, great. You've got to do it. it. Thank you. Right, oh Victoria. All right, shadows, Victoria. Come on, you can do it. So, um, Charlotte, lovely. Really yeah, nice. Yeah, I haven't put the shadows in yet. No, okay. But I like my brick wall. Yes, it's yeah. a good wall. You've got some shadows on that already, so just yeah. be aware. And I like your uh, treatment to the, the the trees beyond. Thank you. Really nice. Well done there. Thank you. Okay, Tony. Oh, gosh, that looks dark and sinister path you've painted there. <laughs> Oh, no. it's, it's a new computer. I'm, uh, I'm not sure oh, the colours yeah, come yeah, right. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's my excuse anyway. No, I, I wouldn't work really? on that path because it's cheapest. <laughs> it looks all right. Oh, that's better. Yes. Oh, yeah, looks a bit colour in there. Yeah, that's right. Uh, you know me, dark, dark and ominous me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> uh, okay, Annie, let's see now. Um, Yes, bring it closer, Annie. Keep it still. Let it, let it focus. It's still a bit a bit blurred, but it uh, looks okay. And um, why don't you come across with some some shadows across the path? Well, I tried it here because my wall was a right own mess. So I don't know what I did, so I right. put shadow on. And oh, you've still got you've still got scope for more shadows. Be oh, be, okay. be brave. Big brush. And, and lots of uh, bluey grey paint and whoosh straight across okay. with it. Thank you. Okay, Susan. No, mm -hmm. uh -huh. oh, you've done nicely there. Your shadows are okay. Yeah, I tried the shadows there. Yeah. The, oh, yes. Well, ah. uh, nice picture. Nice. Nicely yes. done. Now, Max. Okay. Yes. 
you've done nicely there. You've you've been quite uh, brave with your your shadows. <laughs> uh, it it suddenly just snapped into focus. It looks uh, it looks a nice painting that Max. Thank you. Really Love good. That. A couple of months ago. <laughs> Thank okay, you. Liz. After you put your stamp on your photo, that's that's got Liz all over it. <laughs> yeah. No, I like it. Um, I but, haven't got the shadows in yet. So. No. Okay. Okay. But what? It's actually done? a lot brighter on on in real life, and yeah, I know. It's toning know. down really. Right. Well, you you I think your a computer turns it down automatically, mm. and um, it it looks <laughs> it looks pretty good. No, it, it looks better on the screen than it does in real life. Thank oh, you. dear. <laughs> okay, Bev. Oh, Hi. oh, I like this. No, that's smashing. Thank you. Yeah, you've done, it's hard. you've done good work there. Thank you. Lovely. Uh, okay. Um, Vicky. Let's. Oh, that looks rather nice. Bring it a bit closer, Vicky, and uh, just hold it still for a second. That's good. Oh yes. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, really nice, that Vicky. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I can't, I can't fault that. Nicely done. Oh. <laughs> thank you. Uh, Trixie. Right. Very pastely and uh, quite nice because of that. Yeah, you've done it in your own way and it looks rather good. Let's look, Frank. Don't put it away. Yeah. <laughs> Frank, <laughs> Frank was trying to sneak off there and I spattered him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks okay, that Frank. Yeah. Looks like you've got a load of crow's nests in the trees. I'm the... <laughs> I need to something up the bells. Local rookery. <laughs> Okay. Uh, any now? Um, I know there's other people over the page. <laughs> hello, Sally. Oh, hello. Let's look. Hello. I caught you, Heidi. Oh, that's rather good. Oh, I love those colours, Sally. Thank you. Yeah, you've done a good job there. Oh, thanks. Are you going to risk some shadows sweeping across? <laughs> Yeah, let, let it completely dry, Sally, and um, yeah. just just try not too strong shadows, because you've okay. got some already. Just just something coming across the, the lane there. Okay, thank you. Okay, um, Elizabeth, that's right. Oh, wow. Gosh, that's contrasty, Elizabeth. That's super. Yeah, you've been very brave there. Well done. Okay, Rena. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah, I could look. I could look at that all day. That's very well done, Rena. Uh, now, I don't think many are anxious to. <laughs> to wave the paintings around. Nobody else? Just, no. just wave it about. No. It's eight three eight, eight, eight numbers. Okay, Linda. Linda, let's see. I haven't finished mine, that's why I wasn't waving it. <laughs> I haven't put any shadows on. No, that's that's true enough. Um, I haven't finished this wall yet. Okay. Show me on Monday. Yeah, we'll do. Ah. Okay. Uh, oh, it's just a long number. I've, I can't see it. Oh. You have to get that name sorted out. Okay. Um, yes, you're not finished. And you've got some deep shadows to put in and some... some Colours down down the sides of the road, just here and there, flecks of colour. Um, and, and if if it doesn't work, you you can resort to gouache, I guess. But it looks okay. 
a good, good resort to try and starting again, nothing would be a good thing. <laughs> well, I don't know. Of course, you, your graphics are rather good. You, you know, the perspective is good. It looks flat when it should be flat. A little bit more brushwork, I think. Yeah. Um, right. Anybody else? Mm, nope. Okay, well, I think generally. How did you do, Abba? Just not yet. I haven't finished yet. Okay, Doc. Uh, I'm very slow. No, it doesn't matter. It's <laughs> coming along fine. But I'm, I'm trying um, to uh, to make it, and uh, I will send it. Uh, this work and other works uh, on Monday. Is that yes, okay? Do. Yes, do. Monday, I will. Yes. I will okay, do then. all. Speak to you later. All right now. Um, let's move on. Times are pressing, and next week. Still recording, Nato. Righto. Thank you. I'll stop this off now.